San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for Balanced News. We're going to have Chew Out Chocolate in here. They're going to make us a special San Diego 6 uh, bonbon. Sweet. Yeah, it's going to be great and all kinds of really interesting twists on chocolate. Okay, yeah, they, they like to make it spicy. It's they very have spicy interesting. Spicy Mayan, balsamic, strawberry. We're going to be talking with Chew Out Chocolatier. They are in here setting up as we speak. Okay. Fantastic chocolates with a unique twist. We're going to talk more about chocolates as Valentine's Day approaches and sort of a different twist on that. We'll show you some uh, treats that are spicy and sassy. And Michael Antonorsi is here from Chew Out Chocolatier, and they, he's come back to show us a uh, a special bonbon. So thanks for coming back. It's Thank always good to me. have you in. Absolutely. So we've been talking about this all morning. You are actually making a bonbon just for San Diego 6? That really? is true. We made, uh, we created a special bonbon for San Diego 6 for Valentine's called the Fragolina, which in Italian means little strawberry. Oh, well, we like the sound of that. And is this something that took a long time for you to come up with, or was it pretty easy? Well, sometimes it happens in the lab, in, in, the sl in sleep, which is my lab. And when I'm sleeping, <laughs> I kind of dreaming about things and pre-tasting in my mouth. And then I run to the kitchen and start putting it together. So to you, what is San Diego 6 well, in an edible treat? In an edible treat? It's a, it's a chocolate station. <laughs> it's a chocolate station, okay. It's my favorite chocolate station. Okay, so you're going to make this actual treat for us. Yes, we're going to make it really quickly here for you guys. Um, actually, what it is, it is a dried uh, strawberry that has been soaked in port wine. And then we make a ganache with that same port wine, and we enrobe that, that strawberry with that ganache. We add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. We coat it with dark chocolate, and we decorate it with some white chocolate. Very nice. I like that. And you actually even have it in a box, too. Okay. Yes. So, as so let's, to get started here, we have six ounces of dried strawberries that we're going to put in a pot. Mm -hmm. They come out. And this yeah. came, came to you in your sleep. Yes. And then we add a cup of port wine. Okay. So you add a little more port wine. Right. Okay. So you put the port wine there. You put this uh, to a quick simmer. As soon as it starts simmering on the sides, you want to stop it because you don't want to boil out all the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Then you let it sit for about two hours so that it cools down and let the strawberries soak in all that beautiful port wine. Mm -hmm. And when it's done, you just strain it. And you want to reserve that port wine because that port wine you're going to use for the ganache. So you let it strain yeah. and then you're ready to make the truffle. So you boil one cup of cream mm -hmm. and what you do is you add the port wine to the cream, right? So this is mm -hmm. yummy cream now. And uh, we have one and a half pounds of melted chocolate. Dark and, chocolate. A dark chocolate, and we pour that in there. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so that's going to make a delicious chocolate sauce that we're going to mix up. That kind of beautiful dark chocolate sauce it takes about 30 seconds to mix up. And once it's starting to mix up, you add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And the balsamic mm. vinegar is going to help it break up a little bit the sweetness and add a little bit of that, uh, uh, with the tartness of the balsamic vinegar, a little bit more fruit layers to it. So once it's done, you want to put this in the fridge and leave it there for a couple of hours. And as it sets, it comes out firm. Like Fast this. forward two hours, there it is. Yes, it is. Here's quickly. And then with a spoon, we can just uh, spoon out some of that ganache. And we use this cacao powder as a nonstick. And we make a little ball and we actually flatten it out like this. Right? Mm -hmm. And then we put the strawberries inside. And you sort of wrap it around. Mm -hmm. And you wrap it around, you make a little ball, and you mm -hmm. shape it into a little strawberry. When you think right? about all the work that it takes for you to make all of the chocolates, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but it's fun work because you yeah. get to eat it while you're doing it too. <laughs> so then you don't get sick of it. Once we have the strawberry done, we put it in dark chocolate that's tempered, and then we dip it and we just bounce it off the surface so that we get rid of the excess chocolate that we have. So it's not such a thick um, layer of chocolate. And we place it on parchment paper. Okay? So we have quickly another one here. Okay, now uh, while we're doing this, because I know you're going to continue to do this, let's talk about some of the things you have for Valentine's Day. Because you have this special uh, heart-shaped box with all kinds of uh, really unique chocolates in it, including the new yes, Sandy. Yes, that is our sweetheart box, which is actually beautiful. It's got 22 of our most popular bonbons. And for someone that wants to really make an impression with Valentine's, that's the way to go. And also we do a lot of wine pairings, uh, combinations you, you with chocolates. I was too. looking online. You have scotch pairings, you have wine and champagne, and that is a, a nice twist for Valentine's. Yes, we just discovered the scotch pairing lately and it's been a fun discovery because it's just incredible how that single malt scotch has so many layers of caramel and spices. That and sounds herb. like a gift for the guy. Oh, it is. Well, it's one of the things that you give the girl for the guy to take and <laughs> exactly. consume. Exactly. You know? I got you the chocolates and I get to keep this. Right. And you, have, you have four locations now, so you can go to any of these to find this. How much is the box then? The box is $49. Okay, very good. Just gives people an idea. And there's, there's spicy flavors. You have all kinds of different wonderful uh, combinations. So yes. Be sure to go out there to chew out chocolate here. We have the passion fruit caramel. We have the pecan 
that uh, we have a lot of those really arousing the senses type of chocolates. And the Fragolina is going to be, we just made it last night uh, to have it in the stores. We've only made 1,200 of them, so really. Can, can really I try one as we're going can, out? Okay. You better try one, and All you can right. have some port wine with it too. So I'm driving them to the stores right now. We have a store in UTC, one in Delmar Heights, and one in Encinitas, uh, the Lumberyard. Mm. And we're going to have those Fragolinas there all day long. So if anybody sees this, have to rush over there to get some. Thank you so much. Now, listen, we're giving away a sweetheart box with uh, 22 of the bonbons, including this one, to three lucky couch potato winners. Go to the Free Stuff page today at 9. Sorry, Rustin, had to get that in. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much for coming in. You're Go welcome. to SanDiego6.com for all your information on the locations and, and Chihuahua Chocolatier. It really is worth it.